hey guys what's up my name is Sanjiraj and welcome to this new video so in this video we're going to be building a to-do app very basic to-do app using react and this is going to be kind of like a one project per week series so in a month you'll be able to build five four projects sorry there will be four projects that you'll be able to build and you'll be able to showcase on a portfolio also these are you know i mean kind of good projects to get you know the fundamentals all this kind of stuff so today we're going to be building you know basic to do application and uh, yeah guys so i've already got a series going so i guess i wanted to make this a lot more consistent series so this is what we're going to be creating guys you know the normal to do app with the crowd functionality and all this kind of stuff so let's get right into it let's create a source so i've already created a react application so I've typed in npx create react app and I've given the name of the app and then I put enter then I've got it. Also I installed something called UUID. It's a unique ID generator. So you do want to install that. Let me first of all create a folder called index.js and then app.js okay so inside of index.js i want to import react okay after that we want to import react dom from react dom and then we want to render the app component that we are going to create okay okay mm to document dot get element by id root okay if you don't know where this is being rendered that all of the content is being rendered in the public folder to an html file so we're targeting this and putting all of our content inside of that div okay so let's get started with this so i'll just put rafce you could just type in whatever you all this by yourself but i'm using an extension called es7 react redux graphql react into snippets which you can download and use it for yourself okay so what do we first of all want to create in our to-do application let's go ahead first of all hit npm start but before even that uh want to import app from dot slash app and yes let's give yes and um yep we got nothing which is what we want so first of all we want an array of to do's so uh, our first task is array of to do's and after that we should be able check the to do then we should be able to update the to do and then we should be able to delete the to do so first of all let's create an app of to do's array of to do's and then display it on the you know what is it display it. that's it so let's uh, use uh, we're going to be using hooks so if you if you are not familiar with hooks i would recommend you you follow my tutorial i guess i have a tutorial over on my channel if i have it i'll leave it in the description or i might have a twitter thread but if you're not into it you could watch a youtube tutorial about hooks it's uh, really uh, you know i guess i guess it's pretty good to learn it's really important to learn so it's just a way of storing data so you could uh, update the data pretty much very easily after this we want to if if say we want to update okay if we want to update any of the to do's uh, no, no i'm jumping here so if if there's something that we want to update we want to update that specific to do so we want to get access to that particular to-do information. So if we want something unique, so that's why we're going to be using UUID. We're going to be targeting the, uh, uh, what is it? We're going to be targeting the ID and then getting it from there and getting, uh, you know, changing the data from there. So first of all, in this array of objects, uh, um, inside of the id i'll say uuid before you just run that function it will generate you a random id 
we're gonna have a name which is just gonna say to do and we want to check if it's checked or not so basically whether it is whether that to do is finished or it's not after that we all we are going to create another to do so you just run that function and it's going to generate a random id in a format of a string so this is not a number uh, or integer format all this kind of stuff it's in the string format okay and we need a name let's just say to do two and checked let this be true so inside of this let me create another day with a class of to do's okay inside of this i want to loop over all of this if you're not familiar with the map function i also have a tutorial on that but it's basically you just go over the entire array and then you get you know get each of the object and then render it on the website you know render it on the app so let's have a div call sorry div call to do mm. and this is going to contain an h1 with the to do dot name let's go ahead and check let's check what's what's wrong npm start so you could see to do one and to do two is being rendered because we only have the to do dot name right after this we are checked with the array of to do's so we can get that off first after that we need to be able to to check the to do we need to be able to say that we have done we have finished that to do so let's have an input with the type of check box basically means that we should be able to check it and uh, yeah so we want to make the state of being checked to to be to do dot checked okay so if you see the to do first to do is not checked so it's false second one is checked so it is true so off so what do we do in order to create function such that this will change the check so that's kind of complicated so once this is changed once the state of this is changed once we click on it meaning an on change function will run so let's create a function called toggle to do and let's pass in as a parameter the entire to do meaning that we're going to be using this particular to do in order to map all of the to do's and check what is that particular to do and you know update only that let's delete this it's not a problem but we don't want that so toggle to do and we'll say to do to toggle so this is going to be the to do that we want to toggle so let's create a new variable that's going to be new to do's inside this we're going to create or we're going to create new set of objects with the updated values okay so let me say to do's dot map to do and uh, if the to do sorry guys if the to do that is being coming from any from the array is equals to the to do that we want to toggle then we want to return then we want to return it to this particular uh what is it this variable we want to create a new variable with all this information okay with the with the information of that particular to do and we want to make that state of the state of being checked to whatever that is not in it to that to that complete opposite okay so say we have false once we click on this the check property of this will be equals to true so if we click on that again it will be false so that's what we're going to be doing so this happens only if it is equals to this if it is not we return the to do and right after that we want to set the to do's to be equals to new to do's so let's go ahead and check so if we click on it we can we are able to check the to do 
so how it is work how is it working so we are creating a function we are passing in the to do we are checking if that to do is being e to do is equals to do is in this array basically if it is there then we want to uh, we are you know uh, returning all of the data that is currently there and we are, we are just changing the checked value of it to be the complete opposite of to do dot check how do we get to do because both of them match so we could use those data so check the to do is working now we should be able to update the to do so let's create a, a button right here update let me see okay update mm. on click we're gonna run an arrow function arrow function basically means that only if something happens we wanna run that function so in a, we wanna run a function called update to do and we're gonna pass that to do as well so update to do currently does not exist so let's create that and we'll say to do to update let's run an arrow function and first of all we need an we need a input in order to put the information what is it we want to put the particular text so that the person can change it so let's also have an input and this is going to be only visible if there is something uh, if, if there if the person wants to update it okay so okay let's just have uh, yeah let's just have this for now and inside of the update to do first of all we want to get the data of the particular to do mm, so how do we do it mm. so let's say show update to do basically this has all the uh, this has the information about the to do that we want to update okay set show update to do and use state which is just going to be an object for now and once we get to update the to do we want to set the show update to do to be sorry guys to, to be the to do that we want to update okay so once this is done let's just okay console dot log show update to do okay so let's go to inspect console update okay there's nothing let's check what is the problem right here update to do and to do to update to do to update click on that that is working but let's check the components app component and right here we have access to that information and if i click on to do one it's going to give me that particular state information so if so we're going to display this particular input only if there's something in this update to do so let's go ahead and do that so we're going to display this only if there's something in that particular uh, state okay so display will be equal to show update to do so if there's something to show update to do then it's equals nothing if there's nothing in that and then we don't want to display it also we want to put the value of this to be equals to if there's a show update to do we want to make it to show update to do dot name else we want to put it to nothing that's pretty much it also on change if there is a change in that particular input we want to set show update to do to whatever is there in the show update to do and the name of it to be equals to e dot target dot value so what is basically going on here we have this style and only if we get access to the update to do we are displaying it and we are setting the value of this to be the state to be the to do that we want to update 
and also once the person changes the import we are changing we are changing this particular update to do and we are changing that particular update to do's name only so we want to we are kind of you know changing the import uh, value so style show update to do okay this this problem mm. okay how do i do that mm, okay 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 so if the update dot to do text okay mm, we could do this if the update show update to do dot name is not equals to nothing then we want to render this or else we don't want to render anything let's just make that proper here let me put it that inside so what we're basically doing let's see what it works for first of all and what this is doing is it's basically putting the input for the entire thing so what i will do is uh, okay um okay i'll just put this input after after the uh, out of this map function so we only get the input for that particular to do so there you go so if the show update to do dot name if there is show update to do dot name so there you go so if there is something inside of the show update to do which only happens if we click on the update if we click on the update is going to populate this particular state into whatever to do that we create click on and then it's going to populate this particular import based on whatever you know you will want to change so what do we want to do right after this that after this import we also want to have a button okay so let's create a div uh, okay Let's create a div and then let's create a button that says update this to do what this is going to do actually it's going to actually update that to do so until now we have not updated the to do we are just taking the information that we taking the information of the to do that we want to update so on click um, basically we have not done anything much we want to update to do and what is the to do that we want to update we want to update this particular to do right so how do we get access to that mm. so if you want to update that to do checking if it is equals to that so i would want to pass in the to do so let me check there's some i guess there might be a problem with the state and the id okay currently it's the same yep there won't be a problem so uh to do show update to do so i'll just pass in the show update to do right here and um, what i will do is i'll create new function update to do um, so i'll say update to do's so this is going to be a new function so this basically is just you know gonna create a new set of arrays with the new with the you know new text that we put in update to do's is going to 
taking the particular to do to update and this, this is not going to create any problem with this because that's a different function so update to do's let me just first of all console.log to do dot update to do to update and dot name of that so if I change it update name of undefined okay, okay. right here let say show update to do click on update if I change this so this is been actually changed so we are, as you guys saw we are changing the value and we are putting it into this particular object and the name property inside of it so we get access to that here so we can check with the id whether it's equal and then we can change all of the stuff and do it so let's do the same thing here um but i guess we could use a different way a much more easier way so let's say you know set to do's and inside of this let's say to do's dot map let's get the to do sorry guys to do and let's say if the to do to update dot id is equals to the to do dot id which we are mapping then we want to create a new object because we are creating an object with the new values okay so we want to put anything that was already there in the to do and then the name of it to be what is it to do to update dot name if it is not then we just return the to do like this is an easier way of doing it guys this is kind of you know a if statement return statement but this is kind of you know new version of javascript hooks and all this kind of stuff so we're doing the same thing which we're doing here but it's just you know on one or you know couple of lines so let's just go ahead and check whether this works so update this update to do so it's actually working that's pretty nice so update to do it's working so but there's one thing that we want to fix if we update it once we update it we want to get rid of this input and update the student all this kind of stuff so let's do that um, set show update to do to be nothing basically nothing so let's just so we put it to an object so if there's an object there is no name factor to it so if there's no name uh, i mean the name property to it sorry so this won't get rendered nothing will be rendered so if i say nothing nothing there's nothing there so i hope you guys did that say i want to update this to do one to update click on it it's to do one to update if i click on this I can check it, uncheck it, check it, uncheck it, and now we need to delete it. So for this, we can get a button for each and every to do. So delete. Let's say delete. Okay. Mm. On click of this, we want to run an arrow function. We don't need the event. We'll say delete to do, and let's pass in the to do. So here we have access to the to-do, but right here we're not mapping it, so we don't have access to it. However, we do have access to the to-do that we want to actually, you know, update because we are creating a function called set show update, set show update to-do, and we are getting the to-do that we want to update, and all this kind of stuff we are doing it. So that's because we have this update button. Once we click on it, it's actually populating the state, and then to the state, like, you know, it's globally available so we can use it in any function also kind of so let's create a function called delete sorry delete to do and that is going to get to do to delete and um, so here we're going to be doing the same thing set to do's we're going to do the set to do's so to do's dot filter to do where the to do dot id is not equals to to do dot delete dot id so you'll actually see what it particularly does 
so it's actually going to delete the to do that has the same if 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 that if the id that we are getting from looping is available from is available like okay let's let's do it again so we click on delete what it is doing is that it's passing that particular to do where is it that particular to do to this particular function and we are checking if that to do dot id exists in an array of to dos that we have here if the, if it's there then it filters off such that if there is there should be no to do in that array with that id so that was quite hard to explain but i guess we missed up one particular functionality and a main functionality which is to add that to do that won't be hard so let's go here on the top let's have the import Mm, and uh, and also let's have a button at to do and um, okay mm, let's have a state here so okay to do and set to do to do text let's use camel case set to do text use state and that's going to be a string and there's going to be nothing in there until now and that value we want to have to do text and on change we want to get the event and we want to set to do text to be equals to e dot target dot value okay so once the person clicks on this we want to run a function called add to do and we're going to pass in the to do text let's have it right here add to do let me get the to do text and what i will do is Mm, I could do this set to do's with the to do's that are already there with a new object and ID is going to be a new UUID and name will be equals to to do text and initially sorry checked will be equals to false and I guess that's pretty much it and let's go and say new to do add it okay to do is on the function why is it saying like that hmm okay there's a mistake in what i did okay what did i do wrong if i want to add a to do okay it's an array it's we, we can't create it as an object it's an array so I'm gonna put it like this whatever is already there and then we want to create a new object so always mind that guys make sure you don't make that mistake so it's an array so if it's an array we can't actually put an object to it previously we didn't have this but now we do yeah so let's check it now add to do and it's working we could check it uncheck it update it uh, update new to do and we could delete that and we got full crud functionality guys this is the amount of code that we need to write to get you know basic crud functionality guys. that's pretty much it if you want to make it much more complex you could by making you know okay so we did check all of this so it's done also we want to add a to do so there is that to do so that's also done so that is pretty much it guys that is basically how easy it is in order to create a to do app using uh, react i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys got some value i hope you guys understood the fundamentals uh, if you guys did understand if you guys did got, get some value make sure to uh, leave a uh, subscribe to the channel and also leave a like and also follow me on twitter if you want to get you know 
updates about what my what my YouTube channel and also you know text based tutorials kind of stuff tips and tricks tips and tricks using you know text based so that's that's on my Twitter so that's pretty much it guys if there's any freelance projects that you want to work on hit me up on Twitter or on my email which should be shanjirajdev at gmail.com but anyway guys thank you so much for watching and the next series the next video will be coming up very very soon and i'm also going to be working on other videos you know vlog type videos there'll be my macbook pro macbook air review and um, all this kind of stuff guys make sure to follow me on twitter to get updated to be updated that's pretty much it i'll see you guys in my next video